Today we are headed to the Central African Republic and we're going to be making meat, a meatball recipe called Kanda, which has a very special secret ingredient. It's pumpkin seeds. So come on into my kitchen and I will show you how it's done. So to start our kanda or our meatballs from the Central African Republic, I have two cups of pumpkin seeds. They're really pepitas, so they're shelled. They don't have the shells on them. And I'm gonna put them in a food processor or a blender. If you have a blender, that could work too, but I'm gonna use my food processor. And I'm gonna grind these up into a powder. Alright, that looks good to me. And the good thing about using pumpkin seeds in this recipe is that these meatballs are just naturally gluten free. Powder from the uh, pepitas, and now I'm gonna put in one onion. So I quartered my onion and cut it into like eighths or so. And I'm gonna put that into my food processor, as well as the rest of my ingredients. It's pretty easy. I also have one pound of ground beef, which I think I used 85% lean. Maybe. So I'm gonna put my ground beef in the food processor as well as one teaspoon of garlic and three quarters of a teaspoon salt. And then a couple turns of black pepper. So you can just do your black pepper to taste. I like fresh ground black pepper. So the only ingredient that I didn't put into the food processor is a half cup of water. Um, we're gonna use that in a second. So for now, I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna grind it up again. And in a minute, we're gonna need some water to thin it out. my half cup of water in to give it some liquid. Okay, so once all of your ingredients are pureed together, take the lid off, and then we are going to leave this to rest in the refrigerator for about an hour. So once your meatball meat rests for about an hour, now we get to form them into meatballs. So this makes about 36 or so meatballs. I'm just gonna put some in the meat in my hands and make them into the size of about golf balls. And like I said, it makes 36 or so. So this dish is called Kanda and it's made with pumpkin seeds, obviously. But there's also a different version of this dish in the Central African Republic called Kanda Tinaima. I think I'm pronouncing that right and I'm sorry if I'm not, correct me if I'm not. Um, but that version of meatballs in the Central African Republic is kind of similar, but instead it's made with peanuts and okra instead of pumpkin seeds. So to cook the kanda, I have my cast iron skillet heated up on the stove, and I've put a little bit of olive oil in there to heat up as well. I let it heat up for maybe five or so minutes so that it can all be even, even heat across the whole pan. You have to do that with a cast iron skillet. Um, and it seems to be ready now. So I have 16 meatballs. Uh, I cut the recipe in about, we're gonna cook half, and then we're gonna cook the next half. So I have about 16 meatballs here, and I'm just gonna put them in my cast iron skillet. And we're just gonna keep turning them until they're browned all along the outside and they're cooked through on the inside. It'll probably take about 15 or so minutes. When I timed it, it was about 15 minutes for it to cook all the way through. Now, when you're actually eating this kanda, there's a couple different ways that you can eat it. So, traditionally, the Central Africans make it with a tomato and onion sauce and they put that on top and they just eat them plain like that and sometimes with rice. Um, but what we did in my family was we made the meatballs, like we made these kind of meatballs, but then we put them on top of spaghetti with spaghetti sauce and we had kind of a cultural flair on our normal dinner at home. So there's a couple different ways you can enjoy them. They're gonna stick a little bit. So at first, when you first put the raw meat into the pan, the raw meat is gonna stick to the pan and when you try to turn it, it'll, it'll stick to the bottom and they'll be hard to turn. But as you cook it a little bit longer, once they start to really brown on the bottom, it'll unstick easier and that's when you know it's time to turn them. Sometimes the meatballs cook at different rates depending on what's in the middle and what's on the outer skirts of the pan. So I'll move them around a little bit. Um, but also they cook at different rates and sometimes some are, some are done earlier than others. So I'm kind of checking them to, for their firmness. If they're still a little bit squishy, I know they might be a little bit raw inside, so I'm keeping those ones in the pan. But as these ones look down, done on the outside and they aren't super squishy, I'm removing them to a plate. Mm -hmm. 
our Conda are finished, which means that it's time to try them. So like I said, I like to eat them on my pasta with pasta sauce, um, but right now I'm gonna eat them plain because that's how you really get to taste the, the special ingredient of the pumpkin seed that's inside here. So I'm just gonna break a little piece off right here. I love this recipe for meatballs because it's something that you're something that you're used to at home and you make it a lot, but with this recipe, you also get to add a little extra flair to it, something that you wouldn't normally pair with meatballs, but it is incredible. Central African Republic definitely knows what they're doing with their conda, and I'm so excited that you guys got to watch me make it. If you want the full recipe with written instructions, you can go to www.foreignfork.com slash gluten-free meatballs. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys soon.